what is up back and better today we are painting my wheels repainting my wheels because i made a little hiccup and i might have scraped my wheels so let me go ahead and show you. all right so here is the damage okay this is just dumb i literally just made it right there and <laughs> i curved my wheel move it that way so here we go it's not super crazy but it's like annoying and i need to repaint them anyways just because um yeah, they uh, they're nasty. They've been uh, they've been kind of getting nasty. So we're gonna go ahead and redo them. So I'm just gonna take them off, paint them black again, and go from there. All right, first steps first: jack up the car, take everything off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack this up and then put a jack under there so I can take these two off, and that makes it a whole lot easier get everything done over here. So um, so I can do two of them at the same time because I gotta reprep them and I'm gonna redo all of them. So. Alrighty, now that you got them bad boys off. One thing I hate about these is they're these bolts, which I hate how you have to put them into the thing, you know? Like, you, not like the studs that come out, they're like this, I hate this. This pisses me off, but it is what it is. All right, so I got the two wheels here. So what we need, I got sanding paper. I got a little assortments of it. It's all scattered up in here. Um, paint, which I've had from when I did it last time, some clear coat. I have two cans of paint, should be fine. Lots of clear coat. Fuck, I can't talk right now, sorry. Um, and yeah, so we should be golden. Got a lot of gloves. In there. Yeah, so basically, I'm just gonna wash these off, clean them off, get to sanding with the sandpaper, clean them off one more time, and then we shall prep for paint. All right, and just one more time, here is the before. I got my soapy water here, so basically just gonna wash it off, clean it off, and I have acetone, I'm gonna wipe it down one more time. Then we're gonna get to sanding, sand this thing down just to prep it for paint. I'm very quick with my stuff, I get lazy. These are just videos I've seen, a lot of people do it differently. So here's my go-to. So soapy water, wash it off. Um, keep in mind, they're already painted from before, so I'm literally just like overlaying it, if anything. So just to kind of give it a little brighter coat. Um, but yeah, so let's get to going. All right, uh, update. We got it from over there to over here. I think, I don't know if I sent that's to that part. But anyways, I masked it all off and then I started painting it. So we're in the process of it. Light coats. I do get like, one thing I am, I'm very impatient when it comes to doing things. So sometimes I do like heavier coats, but light coats, all the videos I've seen do light coats around the thing. I'm a little bit worried because I thought that was an extra can of paint but it is not it is indeed clear coat so <laughs> i only have one can but the good thing is i'm just doing like a touch up so i just did like a light sand and just to repaint it up and then i'm gonna re-clear coat it because the it just got really like faded so i'm not really trying to do too much in this sense but you know if you want to do a better more intricate you know do a lot more sanding um acetone clean it wet sand it um, you can also do like if you want to fix the cracks. These are all things I've seen from Chris Fix's videos So go to his channel if you want to take a look at it I'm just doing a very simpler terms and you know, just a quick and easy quick paint job So but overall it looks good for the first coat You know, it really looked good from before just to get it. I had to fix this area though You can see it. So I already got the first coat on but once I'm done, I'll be completely gone So let's get going I found another one. I'm so happy. Don't worry about my fingers. I should have got foot gloves. I had a gold cap on it, but I found another one. But it's like half, so I should be plenty to fix these up. All right, we're back. So I painted, I did like three coats, and then this is my second coat of clear coat. Overall, it looks really good. Obviously, there's imperfections. Like, you know, I'm not under a cover, so there's gonna be a little, it's not gonna be perfect. But I don't need it to be perfect. These are my forever wheels. I'm just a broke boy right now, so we're rocking the stock ones, and I just want to make them a little, a little better. But overall, I mean, like, in the sun, you probably see them a little better. They really don't look too bad. They don't look too shabby. Um, I'm debating another clear coat on it, another another spray, just because the last time I did the same thing, and it looked like this, and then when it dried up, and after, like, a few months, it just faded again. So... I don't know, debating. But overall, not too shabby. Um, I still gotta do the other side. I'm already lazy. I don't feel like doing the other side, but we gotta finish off. But yeah, we're gonna let this dry up a little bit and we'll see if I do another coat. But yeah, overall looks good. All right, 
took everything off. These are the finished products. That's what we're looking at. I mean, overall, it looks pretty solid. I put the cap back on just, you know. So, I'm quite happy on how they turned out. They look nice and icy. Um, the underbarrel, I didn't really paint because they're already black or they were dark already. So, I don't really care about that. I just wanted to focus on the top. Um, this is how they look. Give you every angle. I mean, they look really good. Got happy. Like I said, not perfect, but they're good enough. So I'm gonna let it chill here for another like 30 minutes and I'm gonna put it back on the car. Now you're supposed to wait like a good few hours, but I don't have that time right now. So um, we're just gonna put it back on the car and let them air dry. I'll be very careful, that's why I have the gloves on. We're gonna put them back on and just let them dry like that. Um, and then, cause I gotta get working on the other side. So basically I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna show you guys the whole finished product on the other side too. I don't, you know, you don't need to see the other, the other two wheels, but uh, yeah. I just want to give you guys a comparison. So these are, they're dirty. I can make them a little bit more shinier once they're fully clean. It's been raining, so. But this is how they look now. This is before I painted them. Um, again, they weren't bad. It's just, you know, they got faded really quickly. And that happens when you do it yourself. You know, it's never going to be perfect unless you get it all professionally done. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And then these are how they look now. So this is the finished product. Into a lot more shinier. I'm hoping it sticks with it. I put a lot more clear coat on it. So I think last time I didn't put that much. And I think that's what kind of screwed it up. But um, either way, like I said, these aren't going to be permanent. They're just here for the meantime. And I want to make them look as best as I can for as long as I can. <laughs> um, but overall, she looked good. All right. So a little bit of uh, annoying news. I didn't do the other side because basically... Um, I got my tires replaced in the backs and the guy used the air gun and I know he over tightened it when he did it. I was able to take off the the left side, but the right side, dude, like I tried. I used the breaker bar, not the breaker bar, but the little, the, the cross jack, used the gun. The gun I have is like a little cheap Amazon gun. So I feel like if I had like a really good Milwaukee or something, it'd probably come off, but I don't have that right now. So, and I really don't feel like buying a $400 thing or just something to take. I'm, I'm already tired. So I'm just, you know what, we're going to chop it up. I fixed the left side, which is the side I needed to fix anyways, because that was where the scrape was at. The right side, again, it's a little faded and needs an update. You know, could usually look a little overcoat, but it is what it is. For now, I'll be okay. Um, we'll just rock the left side till I'm not lazy enough and I'll do the other side. Or I make a lot of money and I buy some HREs. So it's kind of where I'm at right now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'm cutting it. Um, and yeah, see y'all in the next video. Peace.